All right, welcome back to SRD Plays Diamond Dynasty. Uh, today I'm doing some videos of the pitchers event. It's a, in Diamond Dynasty. Uh, basically, <clears throat> you get to have some pretty decent pitchers, and then uh, everybody else has to have vision with 50 or below. So, yeah. So uh, it's, it's, I've cut these games videos way down just to the basic. Uh, highlights uh you know if i got a couple hits here and there i'll go ahead and put there here was trumbo early on was uh, a pretty clutch guy for me this game uh, and you'll see something later on where uh he comes through so uh, uh he's got i don't remember who who they got pitching against me but uh i was able to <clears throat> When I needed to come through most of these games, I played uh, a total of eight games. I ended up being six and two, so which is pretty good for me. The last time I was two and f two, so there we go. Trumbo uh, got got a uh, low breaking ball and he drove it all the way out of the park. So yeah, so and uh, it got us going early. So. <clears throat> then later on, Jake Lamb uh, able to come through and gets one into the gap. Uh, actually, what happened there is I did not push that thing to keep him going. I was going to stop at second, and you know, every once in a while, it kind of just keeps right on going, and uh, that brings up Kyle Schwarber, <clears throat> who's usually pretty clutch for me and uh, there it is little little uh, easy hit up the middle right past the uh, second baseman's glove so <clears throat> so that made it two to nothing and my pitching staff was pretty solid uh, the whole game so uh, As you can see, that they never really got a whole lot going against me at all. So that's one of the one of the few hits they really got off of me. It was solid. So and then Big Miguel Sano came up. He had me worried a little bit every time I got to face this guy, you know. And uh, got some decent pitches in there to him and. Uh, Just trying to get him to hit something on the ground, and uh, well, obviously, see there, he just took that pitch out to the left, and uh, you know, so he uh, got up a jam uh, <clears throat> early on, but uh, pitching came through when need be, it seemed like the entire game. So there they stole on me. I, I hate it when they, I hate it when people steal third, it's too easy. Uh, I guess I could have slide step, but I didn't. And uh, but there you see, uh, I got out of it. And then uh, Pomerantz, I couldn't remember who my starting pitcher was. Drew Pomerantz ended up <coughs> get got uh, got hurt, and I had to bring in O. To uh, he basically came in what the third with one out, so he was a workhorse for me. So okay, here the, he got a little fly ball, and, and the, the guy is tagging. And Santana makes a great throw to home, and look at the, the guy just said, "Oops, it was too late though. He was too close, and I, he got uh, tagged out for the third out, and it is inning, so he wasn't able to get anything uh, <clears throat> going in there whatsoever. So, so he brought a new pitcher in and uh, brought in Jackie Bradley Jr., and he was able to just get a little little bingle up the middle." Nothing really extravagant really happened from here on, and uh, so that pretty much got got him out of the uh, got it got him out of the jam there, and uh, I'm not sure what happened to my video here. I'm not hearing any uh, any audio, but. Uh, O comes in, it's the fourth inning, and he's just shutting people down right and left. Uh, this guy could never really get anything going against him at all. 
and it was pretty much like a three pitch strikeout here I think well I take that back I thought that was where the strikeout was that's later on in the game I think so so he did get a base hit up the middle off of him and then uh, big Aaron Judge came in and uh, yeah I was having my way with Aaron Judge he, he he couldn't get anything going off of him, so. And then uh, Big Pedro Alvarez comes in, and uh, O continues to uh, be pretty brilliant. you got a comebacker there, and, uh, yeah, so that's two. Well, that was the end of the inning, so. Uh, I think the only thing that really left in this was uh, I, I, might, I might have scattered some hits. I don't, th I, I don't think I scored any other runs, if I... I don't really quite recall. I didn't do live commentary on this because I really wanted to be able to focus on the game. And so this is my really first try on, on after game commentary. Not sure how it's going to work out. But uh, we got a runner on first there. And Jake Lamb comes up and uh, pretty much hit the little nubber. And it's one of those glitch things, you know. Uh, somehow he did get them, though, and they got out of the inning. So, <clears throat> and O comes in. It's the bottom of the fifth. Now these are all sixth inning, uh, six inning games. So, but uh, Jake Lamb makes a good play there, and uh, O it's like I said, rolling right along, pretty much. Really didn't have too many issues. It's still the uh, fifth. And uh, like he was keeping everything down, nothing really got elevated in, in the zone. And the guy chased that change up there; it was way out of the zone. But uh, and not really sure why I showed this complete at bat. Normally, I try to cut out the at bat. So let's see if anything happens here. I'm not sure, but uh, he struck him out. So. And then here comes big Miguel Sano again, and uh, got to worry about him every time he comes up to the bat. And, yeah, he took one deep, but didn't get all of it, so. And we're moving into the sixth inning, and uh, he's making a <clears throat> pitch and change, bringing in Sean Doolittle. And this, this game's pretty much over by this point, so. Yeah, he's throwing some pretty good heat that I never really could uh, make contact with anything. So, uh, yeah. This is like another place I probably meant to edit out, but I just went down swinging and uh, I think I probably clipped the wrong uh, scenes here. Because who wants to see the pitcher bat? But I, I did leave uh, O in uh, for the till the end. So uh, not trying. I'm not trying to give anything away. But uh, O pitched pretty well. So even though he can't hit right there. So and let me see what else was. Yeah, you can see how bad I swung there. I couldn't hit this guy Doolittle at all. There, I popped it up. <clears throat> Just an easy pop-up. I'm not really sure what happened to my sound during this recording, so uh, I, I didn't realize it had gone out earlier. So uh, this, you know, the game sound. So we'll just see how it goes. It should be getting towards the end here. He brought in Edmonds to pinch hit, and uh, Edmonds flew out. This is in the, uh, the sixth inning, so he's got two more two more chances here, and O is still in the game, cruising right along. And uh, you see that beautiful curve ball there. <clears throat> and uh, he's got a very wicked curve ball, man. It doesn't act like a normal, you know, it's, it's more like it's a 12-6 almost. Almost, almost screwy type, you know. But uh, there it is. Uh, that was the game, and I won my first game on the event. And, uh, yeah, so... Uh, Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I got, like I said, I played uh, seven more games. I ended up being seven and or six and two, which for me was pretty doggone good. So I hope you look forward to the other other uh, episodes, and we'll catch you later.